Tonight we have new insight into what happened in the moments before a 14 year old boy from Winter Haven was shot and killed. Reporter Brenda Lee Gonzalez live at the Polk County Sheriff's Office where it's not just the sheriff who has a very stern message for parents and children. Brenda Lee. Yeah, Wendy, and while investigators he think that it was most likely all a tragic accident, the sheriff here says he's frustrated by what he calls a careless choice made by three teens. Something you never think would happen. It isn't just three families grieving at this Auburndale motel. He was a really good kid. So is the manager, Julie Lehman. He's obviously more than a guest here. <laughs> yeah. She knew 14-year-old Kyler Daughtry personally and was there moments after he'd been shot. And I go in the room and find this kid on the floor, start doing CPR. Um, but from what I could see, it wasn't going to, I already knew it wasn't going to do any good. Investigators say Daughtry and two other teens who all live at the motel were in a room when one took out a shotgun. And they thought it was cool to look at the firearm and they didn't know what they were doing. And now we have a 14-year-old child that's dead. Sheriff Grady Judd says right now they think the shooting was an accident, although they're still considering whether to press any criminal charges. The number one rule is you never point a firearm, whether loaded or not, at anyone. Back at the motel, Lehman has a warning of her own. Encourage your kids to stay away from guns. She says Daughtry's story isn't over yet, though. His family plans to donate his organs. At least his, his life is going to give somebody else a life. That is the bright spot of it. The principal at Daughtry's middle school released a written statement earlier this afternoon describing him as a sweet, loving young man who always made sure to say good morning to everyone at the school. They had grief counselors today who will also be there for students tomorrow as well. Reporting live, Brenda Gonzalez, ABC Action News.